Okay, so we're back. Um, accessibility tab focus equals seven. Apparently, that was the only way to get around this. Um, so, if we do this again. Okay, this is kind of what I was expecting or hoping for. Um, so, like I said, I added a helper to let me understand what was actually in focus. Um, Cool. Okay, so it's working kind of the way I want it to. Um, it's strange. It's saving on key down. Um, so let's use the debugger to work out. Um, save. Yeah, let's just go save.js. Is there a wrap? Inspector common. I should look at that at some point very soon. Scratch pad. We should have that. Where's that scratch pad? What is a scratch pad for? Just execute arbitrary JavaScript. It's just, just like a console. Yeah, you can save it, and but it, it executes within the context of the page. So it's kind of a bit like um, Chrome Snippets. Run. Oh, okay, so it's like Chrome Snippets, okay. Display. Yeah, okay, we'll come back to that. Clearly, tangent. Um, yeah, let's do that. Enable Chrome and add on debugging. Oops. Oh, as in the Chrome. Yep, okay. Uh, Enable spaces, detect indentation, key bindings. Nice some sublime key binding is nice. Why is that down there? Um, okay, so no wrapping. We don't get any wrapping. What did that add? Toggle console split? What's that? As in like mini com oh yeah, yeah okay. Um What does that do? I don't know what that does. Okay, we're getting very sidetracked. Okay. Right, debugger. Um, I was just looking for wrapping, but screw it. We'll keep the, the wrapping as it is. Um, so I'm looking for uh, something that tells me that um, where it's being saved, uh, which is in this file save, and we can do open, open, uh, definition saving save. Last keys, decode. Okay, well, I'll just took a break point there. I can't remember which one it is. Is this every function? Oh, it is. Okay, so we've got update code and in progress. Oh. So we're not saving there. No? Yes. Okay, that's the guy I'm looking for. Let's try it again. Okay, so that hit update code. Where's our stack trace? Yes. Okay, um, so save, and then we came in via Code change. Because using throttles, we can't actually get a full stack trace. Is there any way of doing 
Asynchronous stack trace. Oh, what was that? Don't think there is, is there? No. Okay. Well, that's cool. So it tells me that we're paused, does it? Yes. Um, I see it's ignore it. So what is it? Automatically blacklist those? Or sandbox black box those? Anyway. Um, right, so where are we going? Right, something triggered this code change. Um, right, okay, I think it's maybe the mobile mirror. Let's go with that. What happened there? Mobile mirror. No, mobile. Okay, I think that was one. Right. right, this is the editor that I want at the moment. Um, and something in here is saying our key up. Okay. I guess we should just not say so. Uh, yeah, we don't do that, do we? Okay, let's play that out. Can I edit this at all? I thought we could edit. We could edit code. No. Okay, fine. We can't edit code. Uh, mobile mirror. Should do some caching. Uh, all equals blah, null. And only trigger the change if it's actually changed. Uh, so uh, if old is not equal to this uh, dot text area dot value, old equals this dot text area dot value, and then trigger the event. Okay, let's refresh. So focus. Is that a breakpoint? What's that? Is that an arrow? Move. Okay, watch seems to be the way to do this. This dot text area dot value. Of course this is out of scope. So, oh, just refresh that. No, yes, yeah. Okay, so we're trying to stop it from saving when the editors focus into. So, I'm gonna tab around. Cool. Ah, I know it was null before. Uh, okay, this stuff that Got a feeling that will still save anyway. Well, at least it's not saving now. Whereas that will save. Okay, so we see a little flash when it saves. Um, uh, we don't want to do that. Right. Okay, so we fixed the little bug there, which is good. Let's cherry pick that out. Uh, that, I can deal with that. That's that's fine. Um, right. So I want to focus on. That's nice. Um, I mean, it's not. It's a Firefox thing, but. Um, so at the moment we're on. When I click up there, we're on the body, 
tab. We're now on the bot. How are we there? Does Firefox somehow memorize the... If I click on the body... Okay, so... Come to JSBin for the first time. Focus on the body, hit tab. You've got the hidden skip to content, skip to editor. Hit enter on that. What? Let's try it again. Hit enter to follow the link. And the focus is back on the body. Okay, I don't know why that's happening. Right, is it because this is a text area and, oh, what's happening? No. <sighs> Something's wrong with like false. Fuck. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's try again. Okay, dev tools. Pin that. Right, what I want to check was the name of that was. So if I'm on a link, I hit enter, I follow the link, but I seem to blur out. Entirely sure, like how I can debug that. What? I'm on the body. I hit tab. It's like it loses. I've got to make my way around the whole thing again. Oh, mate. Okay, well at least this is working the way I kind of hoped. Right, so here we've got the file menu. Sweet, that works. Go around. Download, yeah, that works. Okay, so this is working the way I want it to. I don't understand how to open up a select box with, whoops, the keyboard. Basically we've got a select box kind of tucked underneath here. Um, so we've got a, a span, some text and opacity zero for this guy. Where is it? There you go. This, that, that search is really useful. It'd be great if I could sit on the rules. Um, so what event do we have here? Wow, we have a lot of events. Uh, click. That's pretty cool. Wow, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. That's not useful, but yeah, that's sweet. I like that. I mean, can I go to the actual line of code? You know, it would be awesome if I could change it there. That would be fucking sweet, but... Right, so I can't actually see that line. Of, I can't go to library line seven, but I guess I can actually stick a breakpoint. Oh, okay, no, just pause or go to there. 
Why did pause take me to there? I thought pause would pause or set breakpoint or something. Well, anyway, that is yeah. I'm I really like this. This is super useful. It's completely the wrong spot, but super useful. Um, okay, so let's get back to focusing. Where are we? The select box can't seem to open it with. I'm pressing keyboard, and like. I'm obviously selecting something, but I can't seem to open it with a keyboard, which is kind of a pain. Okay, so um, the next task is to uh, switch back to the code mirror view, which is what I'm doing now, and then have keyboard shortcuts that will let me focus back up to this guy, uh, so I can change editor. Um, so currently it's F9. Ah, oh, but I don't think I've applied the code, so I'm just going to go and add that bit of code to the focus code. Um, yes, we need else there. Uh, gosh. Actually, you know what? That might work. Maybe I can just get rid of this and this will work. Oops. And I'm going to stick a debugger in here. Because even though we're looking at code mirror, I'm, I can see with my tool that text area is focused. Uh, so dev tools, because obviously it won't break if there's no dev tools. Right, so it must be that. How do I find that text area? What's the ID of that text area? There is no ID. Ah, uh, must be code mirror zone text area. Let's put this full screen again. So what I'm looking for, oh, what I'm looking for is uh, document.active element. Um, let's Get that guy. Right, cool. Okay, so that is inside of our edit box and which is inside of our panels. So if I make this a was it live? Event selector event selector. Okay. Oh cool, that worked. So I hit escape and I have this escape handler. Uh oh the debugger didn't work? Does debugger work? Oh, so I assume I have to focus it maybe to load it up. That's cool. Right, uh, a little bit odd, but that's cool. Um, let's refresh. Okay, so that is not the same code. Close and reopen. So it definitely seems to be an issue with. Uh, Caching. So you can command F9. Cool. Oh, 
That's what right. I think that is again. Um, okay, that's sort of working. I don't think escapes are useful. Cheers. Okay, come on, if mine move back to there. We'll focus success, cool. Body. Ah, no, we don't want. Just bend off the lane editor. Yeah, I don't want to be doing custom tabs. So now console, oh no, console works, okay, that's cool. And then, what was, uh, yeah. Okay, okay, that kind of works. Um, yeah, I... Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, change this to add keyboard support. So I want to, when I click on the menu, I guess I want to push focus into this guy. Um, so menu to open. Uh, So I'm just trying that. I guess some people will be using live reload for this, right? Okay, that didn't work. Load. All right, so what is this? Don't be useful to actually look at the DOM mode. Ignoring get or set on linear this because this is incorrect, okay. Okay, so that's cool. Now I can work out what's actually focused. What I need to do is probably focus the first menu item. Okay, so don't do that. Do dot filter first dot focus. When it blurs, we should uh, for our old focus panel equals null. Equals um, I guess I could just do document active element. I'm not sure that's the right way of coding that, so don't judge my coding. Cool, okay, that worked. Um, next, I want to be able to support up and down. So, um, 
just quickly pull up. 38, 40. Okay. <clears throat> what was it? Oh, 38. That was 38. Oh, that equals 40. Okay. Um, So on key down function event event which is equal to up do something else if which is equal to down, do something else. Um, I guess we have to take the focus down and then move to the next one or something. Um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, that does work, okay. Right. So if I take that DOM node, document dot active element is the archive link and I do previous sibling yeah, text the previous element sibling that's not well supported is it but we've got jQuery all over this so prev there we go Uh, Preve to focus. That's next, isn't it? Then we have to handle cycling. Ah, uh, yeah. That's pretty what I want, isn't it? Pre until. Can I just do pre? Let's just give that a try. <clears throat> Not really checking documentation at this point, am I? No, nope, that doesn't work. Okay, sod. Get the previous sibling of each element up to, but not including the element match. Up to. Oh, yeah, I don't want that. Now we've got to do a focus. I'm pretty sure these are these focus clocks from hovering. I feel like when I click on that, it should actually switch to focus. Yeah. Okay, navigation, find, hover. I'm doing a bit of a hatchet job on this add class. Uh, 
focused cause that uh, links it was the focused remove class hover little links uh, dot like the first EQ no this doesn't feel right at all this feels extremely hacky and I'll probably refactor this um, Okay, that seems to get stuck, so let's debug this guy. Why is it getting stuck? Uh, Focus.js. Oh, you're taking up so much space. This would be good to be able to get rid of. Um, I don't know how long a screencast is getting to, but it's. Um, right. We're going. Down, so let's do that. Okay, so what I'm okay, what I'm doing here is why is it saying it's undefined? It's about to be defined. These errors Oh no, these errors are from that. Var no, I can't do it there, can I? Um var focus. No. Let's restart. Open and close that. Uh, focus. Where's that coming from? Line sixty five. Ah, you plonker. Focused. Right, get that uh, open, close. Good to have a way that the dev tools would have like broken dev tools. Yes, I have. Okay, it'd be good to have dev tools ah, reload dev tools when I reload the page because, or at least reload the sources because they have actually reloaded. I find myself kind of repeating the same actions over and over again, which is is frustrating.
Okay, so off is clearly wrong. Right, let's get a breakpoint there. Okay, so document dot focused active element. Don't know why that stopped working. Is that one? Okay. If we do dollar document dot active element uh prev all a we get delete oh we want the first okay Uh, EQ zero. This is looking super, super similar except for this bit. I'm not going to do that yet. I can't optimize that. Right. Let's close this. Refresh. Open. Focus. All right, it's going to stop there, isn't it? So down. Okay, so nope, no history document active element. It's that one. Then next, all A is ah. Okay. For some reason that includes the link we're actually after. Okay, so I'll just change that to be equals the index one of the array. What? Oh my god, this is really difficult to debug. I'm making a mess of myself. Right down. Let's just add some consoles. Uh, links. Oh. Uh, focus. To focus. It's interesting, so it's actually loaded the code, but it hasn't updated it in the dev tools. Oh, you plonker. We've got hidden elements in there as well. Next, all visible. That's why the unarchive, we've got archive and an archive, which is what I was saying there. So, dimmed out. The dimmed out uh, DOM node is the thing that gave me a clue, which is good. 
So I don't think this was actually equals one, I think it was just hitting the hidden element, therefore never actually moving forward, or never officially moving forward. Cool. That kind of seems to work. Let's go. Yeah. What was that that just highlighted? Okay. It kind of works. So, summary of that. <clears throat> this is awesome. Uh, this takes up a lot of space. Like, I want to be able to hide this entire block. Um, because I want to be able to use a console to test code as I'm debugging. Um, there are issues when I refresh the page, the code is not in sync with what's actually loaded. Like I'll have a console log happening that isn't actually vis visible in the file because it seems to cache this display. Like it doesn't re-render, it doesn't update, just show me that it's changed. Um, and then if I open and close this too quickly, it seems to uh, crash and I can't open open again. I just open and close quickly and then refresh. Now that works. And then when this is popped open, um, when I'm inspecting, I would expect, now that I've selected something, to focus this, and oh, now it's broken. Because I'm I'm performing an action that is to do with the elements panel, so um, it should focus it basically. Okay, cool. I hope that's useful. I'm going to check out the uh, the three D tool next.